This is the brand new Jaguar F-Type. It has a load of tweaks, which I'm sure you all want to know about. But before I show you those, there's only one thing that I care about, and that is the sound. We know F-Types are some of the best sounding cars on the market, and I want to make sure that's the one thing they haven't ruined. Let's fire it up. Okay, now this is the F-Type R V8, so it should be good. Now that's out of the way, drop us a subscribe and let's get on with things. As you've seen, the rear end and the sound that comes from it aren't a massive departure from the current model, but there are big changes at the front and that includes these very distinctive headlights the previous generation F-Type's lights ran up and down the bonnet. These now run horizontally across it and are a hell of a lot thinner than before. Very bold, very big step. They also have this J-patterned LED, which will give it a very distinctive presence at night. And on top of that, you will see Jaguar's monogram pattern. Now, the idea is that all the big fashion houses of the world, your Gucci's and your Burberry's, have their own distinctive patterns and Jaguar are getting in on that action. If you look deep inside the lights, you'll see that the main beams actually look a little bit like giant ice cubes. Very cool. Very brave, but very cool. Now up front, predictably, there is a new grille, and that means it's wider and deeper than before. That's just how car design is going these days. The actual detail inside it is quite clever, though. They've used satin black and gloss black in this pattern, and the pattern's actually replicated up here on the bonnet vents and on the vents around the side. In profile, they haven't really messed too much with the design. I don't think it needed too much work in that area, but you get some new colors to choose from and new wheels. These are finished in gloss black right now because this car has the optional black pack, but you can also have them finished in aluminum. Around the back, there are some definite changes. Ian Callum, Jaguar's former design chief, always used to joke that the most important bit of a Jaguar was the back end because that's the bit most people are going to see most often and they've done a really good job with this new F-Type. Not spectacularly different to the previous car, but there are some noticeable changes. The lights, for example, now have a chicane design. The previous lights had a kind of semi-circle effect down here, but now these have a much more modern edge. If you look closely, you'll also see that the monogram pattern is actually replicated in there just as it is up front. Plus, on top of that, you've got some black detailing on the Jaguar Leaper, as well as on the F-Type badge. And I love the way that the license plate holder diverges diagonally downwards to emphasize the width of the car. Not massive changes. It's all about subtle changes that go a long way to improving the overall aesthetic without throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Inside, they haven't really gone too crazy with the changes. It's still an F-Type. It's still a very driver-focused cabin. You've still got your emergency grab handle, which is great for when you run out of talent or for when the passenger gets scared. But they have generally improved the quality of the materials around the cabin. There are new interior colors, new trim finishes, and a few nice little Easter eggs for F-Type fans to spot. For example, up here on the glove box, you've got a new button, which is surrounded by some lettering, which reads Jaguar established 1935. Plus the ladies stocking thing that was located down here has now been moved slightly higher up to between the seats on the rear bulkhead. One big change is to the instruments. They've gotten rid of the old manual gauges and you now get a 12 inch TFT interactive driver display that's on Jaguar's newer cars. There are a couple of tweaks that make this unique to the F-Type though. You get new italic lettering and a picture of an F-Type located on the right hand side. You also get a 10.5 inch infotainment screen, that's new. It's a lot bigger, a lot more high res, and a lot more user friendly than the previous system. Plus, if you're really big into your tech, then you'll be happy to know that the new F-Type now comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard. Now, there are various versions of the F-Type available. There's a coupe and a convertible, obviously, and both come with a choice of engines and trim levels. Interestingly, they've gotten rid of all the V6 engines. The P300 is the entry-level car, which uses a 2.0-litre four-cylinder and starts from £54,000. 
There's also this car, the F-Type R, which uses Jaguar's 5-litre supercharged engine, making 575 horsepower, which is the same engine you get in the outgoing SVR. This costs 97,000 pounds, which is 16 grand less than the old SVR, minus the SVR badge, but with all the same performance. So there we go, that's the new Jag F-Type. Lots of small changes that add up to quite a very different sports car. What do we think? Well, we already know it sounds incredible, but let me know what you guys think of the design in the comments below. Drop us a comment, hit like, subscribe, and come back soon for more videos. Take care.